हेलो माय डियर चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू मीराज मैथ क्लास चिल्ड्रन इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव रेड अबाउट इक्वेलेंट फ्रैक्शंस आई होप यू रिमेंबर इक्वेमेंट्स सेम और इक्वल वैल्यूट फॉर वैल्यू सो हैविंग इक्वल वैल्यू द फ्रैक्शंस are known as equivalent fractions now we will be going for worksheet 3 of fractions chapter there the first one is missing numerator or denominator of equivalent fractions so in the first one we are going to find out the missing numerator these are equivalent fractions why because equal to is there and we have to find out which one is missing 1 by 2 is equal to we don't know what is the numerator so we have to find out the numerator here and the denominator is already given as 4 now i will teach you first how to find out the missing numerator in this example now I hope you all remember in the last class I told you how to find out the equivalent fraction. Now two into how much is four? We will first take which one is given. As the denominator is given, we are going to write the denominator first. So two two zer four one two zer two same number we are multiplying. in the numerator as well as in the denominator column so now we got 2 as the answer for numerator so this is 2 2 by 4 so 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4 this is the first example now let's move to one more so that it becomes more clear 18 is given that means denominator is given 4 by 6 into how much we will do we have to find out so the denominator is 18 which is already given first we will find out what we are going to multiply with 6 to get 18 we are going to multiply 3 6 3 are 18 so the same three number digit we are going to multiply in the numerator 4 3 are 12 now what is the numerator 12 this is the missing numerator in the same way if the denominator is missing how to find out same same we are going to write 7 by 9 into how much we are going to do uh, so that we are getting the numerator as 42 whatever is given that we are going to write it first and from that from the given one we are going to find out which is not given so remember given to not given or given to asked 76 are 42 so 96 are 54 right so here we are going to write 54 what is the number d similarly we are going to multiply to get the numerator as it is already given 24 how much we are going to multiply to the numerator to get 24 3 yes 3 eights are 24 so we are going to multiply the same 8 to the denominator 5 eights are 40 so this becomes 40 now i hope you now understood how to find out the numerator and denominator now you uh, i'll show you one more example uh, a different kind than these examples this is different how first of all this number and the base fractions are given smaller than the finding out equivalent fraction so we are multiplying and getting it okay but here you see the given base fraction is more than the 
finding out fraction. What we can do? We can do this two types. Let me tell you the first type. First type. What you are going to do? You are going to write as we know first. In the first condition, we will reverse it. 9 into how much? Okay. Is equal to 27 by already 30 is given. So, let's see. This is what is given. 9 is given. 27 is given. 30 is given. Okay. So, I wrote the smaller one first. As we always multiply the smaller ones to get the bigger one. So, 9, 3 is our 27. Now, same you write the 3. As you know, 3 can be written here to multiply the same number to the numerator and denominator. What is the denominator we have to find? 3 is already given. Now you see how much I am going to multiply to 3 to get 30. Everyone knows that 10. In this way we can get the answer 10. This is the answer. Right. Second time I will show you. Okay. What is the second type? Second type is 27, 30. I told you, you can multiply the same. Even you can divide the same number. To the top, I mean numerator as well as denominator to get the answer. Now, already 9 is given. You have to find out the other denominator. How much you are going to divide 27 by so that you are getting 9? You are going to divide by 3. So 30 divided by 3 is 10. Here also you are getting the answer 10. So either by multiplying to the smaller ones you can get the answer or dividing it to the bigger ones you can get the missing numerator or denominator or whatever. So the answer is 10. I hope now you all understood. Please go and complete the number 1 of worksheet 3 fractions.